Hello again. A person has died in a horror crash southwest of Ararat this afternoon. Police believe a sedan and a truck were involved in a head-on collision. The truck tipped onto its side while the sedan burst into flames. The driver and sole occupant of the car died at the scene. The truck driver is being taken to hospital for treatment. Northern Grampians police are now looking for any dash cam footage. Western District Health Service now has extra support to procure a much-needed MRI machine after last night's federal budget. A $66 million investment is set to expand Medicare-funded MRI scans in the southwest. One and MP Dan Team says it'll save both travel time and money for patients across Hamilton who need a scan. And hospice residents in Colac have been given vital connectivity to the outside world. Donations from a local foundation has given guests a much-needed digital upgrade. Hello again. Police need your help to locate missing Bendigo woman Mariah. The 22-year-old was last seen in Bendigo on November 10 last year before moving to Sydney. There were concerns for her welfare due to a medical condition. An image has been released in the hope someone recognises her and can provide details on her whereabouts. Anyone with information is urged to contact Bendigo Police Station. Greater Bendigo has recorded another day where COVID cases have topped 200. This time, 224 have been recorded over the past 24 hours. Other cases included 106 in Mitchell Shire, 97 in Macedon Ranges and 56 in Campaspe. The transformation of Maravit's stormwater network from an open drain system to an underground drainage infrastructure network will start in mid-April. Residents can stay up to date via Ganawara Council's website and Facebook page. Have a good night. Hello again. Four drunk protesters have been arrested on the lawns of Parliament House. The group was asked to move on by police before a scuffle broke out and one police officer was struck. Two protesters ended up being charged with offences including assault and trespass. The other two were released without charge. The ACT Chief Minister has slammed the federal budget, saying the government has ignored Canberra once again. Andrew Barr says infrastructure spending for the city is the lowest amongst any state or territory. The city will get $51 million for road upgrades, including Athlon Drive and Kent Street. And the majority of Canberrans getting COVID are aged between 25 and 39. ACT Health has released a breakdown of daily case numbers by age. In the latest reporting period, those over 65 are getting infected the least, while there is fairly prevalent viruses in those aged 40 to 49. Hello again. There's been mixed emotions across Gippsland in the wake of this year's federal budget. The region was able to secure a hefty slice of the cash with many millions allocated to our rail and road network. Some locals took to social media to say the funding could have gone to aged care instead, while the Trove Mayor Kelly O'Callaghan claimed the region had initially called for an increased investment into the flood recovery. A small fire took hold of your lawn power station this morning, with authorities saying it broke out in the coal bunker. It took firefighters almost seven hours to get it under control. One person was treated at the scene and was taken to hospital as a precaution. And Gippsland's COVID cases have climbed drastically over the past week, with just over 2,300 active cases across the region. Fortunately, no one is in the ICU. Showers and the top of 20 expected for Lee and Gatha. Hope you have a good night. Hello again, a man is recovering in hospital tonight after a boat exploded at Lake Macquarie. The 64-year-old was on board at the vessel at Fennel Bay late yesterday and suffered intensive burns when the fire quickly spread. Firefighters put out the flames, but the boat was destroyed. Police don't believe the incident is suspicious. An off-duty police officer has been charged with high-range drink driving following a crash at Lake Macquarie. It's alleged a 43-year-old woman crashed her car in Morissette and then failed a roadside breath test. While in custody, she returned a blood alcohol reading four times the legal limit. And Newcastle-based elite para-athlete Amy Fisher has been awarded the second annual Newcastle Knights Minerva Scholarship for her outstanding achievements in national athletics. The $10,000 12-month scholarship will allow Fisher to balance training and study.
Hello again. The Illawarra Women's Health Centre has secured $25 million to establish Australia's first women's trauma recovery centre. Member for Shell Harbour, Anna Watson, says it's been a long time coming but is a great win for the region. The centre will provide a one-stop trauma recovery service for women and children experiencing domestic, family and sexual violence. To help with the increasing cost of living, Illawarra low- and middle-income earners will receive an extra $420 back on their tax returns. Meanwhile, pensioners and other eligible concession card holders will receive a one-off payment of $250. And a hazardous surf warning has been issued for the Illawarra and South Coast tomorrow. Surf life savings as people need to understand their limitations and avoiding taking unnecessary risks in the water. Rockfishers are also being urged to avoid rock platforms exposed to the ocean.